Yep. Uh, I'm Jerry Conley with the Seward Equipment Company. Uh, we are submitting uh, a presentation for three and a half uh, PDHs uh, for a seminar series we're going to be doing in June of this year. Roughly one hour of that seminar is going to be on a hydraulic demonstration using this acrylic glass-based pump. We really don't have a hard copy PowerPoint presentation to go through it, so we wanted to take this video and we will submit this video with our other PowerPoints uh, in the attempt to, to justify the PDH uh, credits. So what we have here is a centrifugal pump that has a glass-based demo, right? it has, a, it has a acrylic casing with an acrylic propeller, uh, a fully functional motor, a uh, tank with uh, red beads in it so you can watch a fluid flow, uh, a discharge valve, a suction valve, a discharge pressure gauge, a suction pressure gauge, a mechanical seal chamber pressure gauge, and also here is a thermal couple that is measuring mechanical seal uh, temperature. So I'm going to turn this on, the pump on. We're not going to go through the whole hour presentation here. We just want to get have, have, you, uh, the evaluator, kind of understand what we do. So, pump running. So, we go through a process. This performance curve, this is the centrifugal pump performance curve for this pump. So, what we do is we start, I'll, I'll give you one example. So, we start by closing the discharge valve entirely. By doing that, we then read our discharge and suction pressure gauges, do our calculations, and we can determine what the tau diameter is in the pump. We then, and you can also demonstrate other things. You can, you can visually see through the use of this flow meter that there's no flow going through the discharge. And by, because we're using these wet beads, you can see that although we're getting some, some turbulence in the suction, we're not getting any flow into the suction. So it's just visual verification of a closed valve. So then we would, we would then open the valve. We would open it to a flow, which you can read here. In this case, it's 40 gallons per minute. We would take our pressure readings, do our calculations, and we would then plot the point on the curve to verify, and we would do this two or three more times. So we would plot here and, and probably all the way to run out. So we would start by doing this to teach the engineers that will be involved in this, one, to understand what color diamond you may have in the pump, which is a good troubleshooting uh, uh, feature, and then also to use it to actually verify what the pump performance uh, that is on the curve you're actually getting in the field. So it's kind of field verification. In addition to in addition to just verifying the curve, at each one of these points, there's also, I don't know if you can see that shirt, but there's a horsepower reading. There's, a, there's an amp meter on it. So at each one of these points, we then correlate that to what this what the first power is and we just show another way to verify performance in the field by using horsepower. So that's the second thing that we do. Um, other things that we do is again for example when we shut this all the way off so there's no flow going through the pump, which is very you know which is not good for a pump, we then demonstrate using this thermocouple how the temperature in the seal chamber begins to rise. And what we, what we demonstrate is how, by closing a valve, you're heating up your liquid, heating up your casing, heating up your mechanical seal, and eventually that temperature will get to a point where you'll damage and fail your mechanical seal. So that's just another use of the uh, demonstration of the pump. What we also do, Sherry, you have to come over here for this. 
We use a strobe light and, and we gauge the strobe light to the exact speed of the motor. So then you can now see, it might be hard to see, but basically you can you can slow the impeller down so you can actually watch the impeller rotating. So then we make sure we show engineers the proper rotation of the pump and the veins, the proper rotation of the veins within that pump. In addition, by closing our suction valve, In addition, what we can do is then demonstrate cavitation. And I don't know if you'll be able to pick this up on that video, but all throughout here now, we're actually forcing this pump to run in cavitation so you can visually see the damage that is done to a pump over time when you run a pump in cavitation. So. So what we're trying to demonstrate is all the different ways that you can run a pump, verify for performance, and understand all the effects of, of open valve, closed valve, uh, and the performance of the pump. So we'll submit this video with our overall submission to gain the one hour of uh, PDH credits for this part of the demo. Thank you.